MD, I think there's trouble. Something is definitely not right. What is the matter? Why have you come here so late at night? It is Mama. She isn't home. I left her at home this morning before going to work. And she didn't tell me she would be going anywhere. I have called her phone. All he says is switched off. I don't know where she might be. She doesn't stay out this late. And if she would, she will always give me parole notice. Are you serious? You mean Mama is not at home as we speak? So where could she have gone to? I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe she's with a friend. Perhaps they are enjoying each other's company and she has lost track of time. No. Mama doesn't have friends that she visits their house. Hmm. What if she has a lover? After all, she's a woman. A fine one at that. It's unusual for a woman who doesn't keep late night. Suddenly does so. Maybe that might be the case. She might be enjoying herself and did not notice time is far gone. She might be home already by now. It's like something is wrong with your head. Mama, having a lover at her age, you must be crazy. Oh. Okay, sorry. I didn't have any idea either where she is. There's no time. Are you going to help out in searching for her or not? So I can be on my way. We can leave when you are ready. But where are we going to even search? Hello, this is James. Please, who am I speaking with? What? Okay, thank you. I am coming right away. Please don't hurt her. I'll be there shortly. What happened to Mama? Was she the one calling you? No, I was called from the police station. Police station? What happened? Mama has been arrested. Mama, what did you go to do at their house? Now you have given them upper hand to insult us. But Mama, I came here the other day to beg you not to ever go to that house to make trouble again. And you even denied ever going there. Mama, I didn't ask you to go and fight for me. Leave the fight for me. I can handle them all. Look at the way the police insulted us. You were lucky, if not for your age. What those people would have done to you would have landed you in hospital. Shut up. They cannot do anything to me. As a matter of fact, I am not yet done with that Cindy or whatever her useless name is. When I'm done with her, she would wish she was never born. But Mama, what exactly has Cindy done to offend you? Because if we should honestly look at this issue on ground, Cindy hasn't really wronged you in any way. And she left James just as you have always wanted. So why are you still making trouble with her? Point of correction, MD. She didn't leave me. I dumped her. We are still saying the same thing. You dumped her. So, why all the trouble? Why don't you live your life and let them live theirs? To be honest, Cindy doesn't deserve what Mama is doing to her. She deserves it and even more. She still is serving my son despite being married. She wants him to lose his job. Mama, I can't believe you are blaming Cindy for that. But you and I are aware of James' nonchalant attitude towards work. He refused going to work for weeks. How is that Cindy's fault? Are you now taking Cindy's side? Because I don't know what you are driving at. Have you forgotten so soon that Mama is here today? Thanks to Cindy. It wasn't Cindy that saved Mama's life. It was God. Don't give credit to any man for what the Lord has done. Yes, my son, you are right. It was God that saved me, not that evil girl. Hmm, Mama. Okay, I have heard you. But please, you heard what the police said. I would advise you don't engage in things that would involve you and Nigerian police. They might not treat you very nice next time. If they like, they should arrest me with soldiers. It will not stop me from dealing with that girl for letting her useless father arrest you. Don't worry about us. We would handle this issue on ground. They think because they have money, they can harass my mother. Hello? Yes, please. Who is this? 
It's me, MD. Oh, MD, it's you. I don't have this contact of yours. Yes, it's my new contact. Okay, so how have you been? Hope all is well with you. Yes, all is well. How are you too? I am fine, thank you. And your husband? Henry is fine too. We are both doing fine. Okay, thank God. I was going to apologize again on behalf of Mama's harassment towards your parents. She was arrested, wasn't she? She got lucky my dad said they shouldn't touch her. If not, she'll be back in the hospital. I know. But thank God your dad was being a gentleman. I know she has learned her lesson. She will stop budging my family and I now. That was the main reason I was calling. You have to be very careful with Mama and James. They have let hatred and bitterness take control of their minds. They don't think straight anymore. All they are thinking about are ways to hurt you. I am fully prepared and ready for the two of them. I can assure you, you are not. James keeps planting hatred in Mama's heart against you. He is blaming you for his lapses at work. Do you perhaps have anything to do with it? Not at all. He has been misbehaving at work and my husband reported him to his father because he was given a life contract by my father-in-law. So my husband wanted his father to handle him. He doesn't even respect my husband at the office. He comes and goes whenever he likes. So why is he blaming me for that? What's my business with my husband's company when I don't even work there? Hmm. Well, he is putting blames on you. He has told Mama you want him to lose his job. And she is going to do everything she can to protect her son. She loves him that much. So please, for your own safety, just try to avoid them both. I'm not afraid of neither her nor her son. I don't care what he feeds her about me or what she thinks of me. If she crosses my path with intentions to harm me, I might just end up sending her six feet under. No, nah. Cindy. You are better than this. You can't also begin to think and act like them. Please, it's better to just avoid them altogether. You wouldn't want to engage in something you would live to regret for the rest of your life. Hmm. You have a point. But it's not easy to just overlook. They would come to their senses soon. I thank you so much, MD. Take care. Bye. Hello, who is this, please? Your worst living nightmare. I'm going to hang up if you don't reveal your identity. I don't have time for stupid pranks. You want to pretend you don't know. It's me, James, your lover, talking, right? And so what? Who are you that your voice should be specially recognized? What do you want? Why are you calling me? You must be very stupid for talking to me in that manner. Okay, is that why you called? Because unlike you, I'm not jobless. I am preparing dinner for my husband. If you don't mind, I have to concentrate. So, kindly end the call and go take out your frustration somewhere else. You little wimp. So you had my mother arrested, right? Oh yes, your mother was being a bad girl. And she needed to be reminded of how to behave sanely, you know? Not showing off her insanity whenever she feels like it. She had to be lectured on how to tame it. To be of the best behavior and to act like a good girl. You are definitely a witch, just as my mother has always called you. I am glad God saved me from marrying a devil like you. <laughs> no, I am the one who is thankful to God for not letting me waste away with a low life nobody like you. Who knows how your father died? I am sure your violent mother must have killed him with her troubles. You mannerless brat. How dare you talk about my mother in that manner? Oh, do you want to cry? <laughs> All you keep doing is call me names. You are just pain that I left you for Henry. And speaking of my adorable husband, thanks to you. He told me how you helped him take him to the hospital in the past. At least my baby gave you the opportunity to do something useful in life by saving him. Thanks to that. <laughs> Nemesis will catch up with him soon. Nemesis always catches up with people who pay evil for good. Not after it has caught up with you and your ungraceful mother first. How did you two pay my family back for helping you? You poor people have a poor way of thinking. I think poverty has dealt with your sense of reasoning. Rubbish. Get off my phone. Hi, honey. Welcome, dear. How was work at the office today? It went well, although James kept trying to get on my last nerve. What is wrong with that guy? And why on earth is that taking so much time to make a decision on his case? I don't know, Hida. I am still waiting on him to make a decision. I pray he makes up his mind anytime soon. I can't wait to erase every trace of that guy from our lives. Same here, dear. 
same year. But why are you so upset? You wouldn't believe he called me with a private number today. What? He called you again? Yes, he did. What did he say this time? As usual, to insult and threaten me. Again? Think this is getting out of hand and needed to be handled. Yes, dear. I'm thinking of relocating to a new environment. That would have been a lovely idea, but I don't have any plans to leave the company in the care of employees. People can't be trusted. Well, that's true. Babe, I need to go see Dad and report the incident of James' mother at your house and James calling to threaten you. Okay, dear. Are we going together? No, dear. I won't be long. All right, darling. I'll have dinner served by the time you get back. That's my girl. And I would compensate you for that tonight. <laughs> Not to you. Hurry up, it's getting late.